So you're retired now, right? Still figuring it out. Okay, so what has to happen for you to play next season? Um, I think if I still want to play, I'm going to play. I think, you know, right now we're not far enough away from the last game. It's emotional. It's a long season. We ended the season, quite frankly, awful. You know that as a Bruins fan. And um, so I'm just going to take some time, rest, recoup, and then figure it out. I think I'll have an answer in the next couple What would your advice be? Because you had an incredible career and... How many years did you play? I played 19, but I wanted to go 20. I wanted to go 20, but uh, when I was in Boston, I had the career ending injury and then I was only making a million and I wasn't the same Shaq. So I was like, I'm not coming back, but you got your ring. Yeah. And he's still killing it, bro. Yes. I did. You made the Pro Bowl this year. I'm excited for you, Jason, in that when I watched your documentary, I was taken aback at the point where you were so worried about what you were going to do in retirement, where you were looking at raising cattle. Well, I, I got I got twenty head of cattle in Missouri. And now though, you know cattle? Uh, no, there it's a it's like a it's a crossbreed. You touch them? Yeah. I'm scared. Scared? I live on a farm in Georgia with no animals. Okay. Like, but I'm I don't. You're afraid of the animals? Yes. Which animals? Any animal. Well, I have dogs, but <laughs> There's I don't. no way. Bro, what the hell am I going to do with a cow? And I'm not, uh, no offense, no, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not the guy who want to get the cows and, and do the meat. I'm, I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah. So the fact that I don't want to touch them and play with them and feed them, so I, do you, I don't even. Are you, is it, what is it, just crop farm, cropland? What do you do on the... Bro, he's got like basketball hoops out there. Yes, I it's a drone. It's a drone racing field. Oh, is what no, it is. that sounds that sounds pretty fun. <laughs> uh, I've got 50 acres of trees. But I, I just know, I see the way that you're attacking like life right now. Yeah. Now with the podcast and everything. Yeah. It's it, like you weren't even looking for it and it happened. Yeah. I, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm set up for... It's incredible. There's a lot of opportunities and things that are going to be available to do in retirement. But I'm also cognizant after talking to everybody that's played that none of that is going to be the same as playing. Sport. So that's why he DJs. This is actually a really good conversation. You know that? Yeah. The reason he DJs, he always league. said it's the closest he's ever felt to walking out at Staples, and there's twenty thousand people. Just because you're live in front of a, a, a bunch of people, like what? What makes you feel that way? I don't like to use the D word, but when I stopped playing, I was doing I've never done before, talking to neighbors. And again, I had another year in Boston, but I had the injury, so I didn't have any deals or anything. So I'm just at my house. I'm, I like I usually like wake up at the ten to go to practice. I wake up at ten, but like, oh, I don't have nothing to do today. Yeah. So I go to like I was actually looking for people to go, hey, check, like because I, <laughs> I didn't have it. So one time I went to this tournament and TS was performing. It was a hundred thousand people out there, and that when he came out, it felt like it felt like it felt like Kobe. Next time you cross Scotty Pippen up, throw the lob, and they just felt like that. So then yeah. I used to DJ in high school and college. I said, I'm starting doing So now I'm like one of the biggest DJs, but that's why I did, because I actually lose money DJing. But that hour, hour and a half, the, the banging and the jumping up and down. The feeling it gives you. It's that like uh, adrenaline. That we will never understand. That, dopamine, that, that yes. adrenaline. Yes. So is that, that's what you've heard from former players is you'll never get to touch that. So I was that. just talking, most of the guys. I've talked to have said something similar, and I think Chris Long said it really well, which is when you're playing, you're like this. With your, 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 you're winning with the highest of highs, you're losing the lowest lows in your emotions, and the way you're riding it are like this and this and this, right? And then once you're done playing, you're like this, Flat right? Line. And, you, and, and they, they, it feels weird, and it takes a while to get used to that. I mean, I've never done it. I haven't done it yet, but it's coming. And I think that's... I thought he did a good job of explaining that was you, you almost feel like you're you're like you're not there right? anymore. Yeah, like yeah. I, like it, it's it's like why am I not having that 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 insane high that I had when I was playing football? The number one high school in Cleveland Heights offers you a coaching job. In Cleveland Heights? Yes, a college offers you a head coaching job. An NFL team offers you assistant head coaching job. Do you take it? Number one um, school in Cleveland Heights. Nice football so program, I'm a lot probably, of players. If it was a if it was a number one school in Philadelphia, I might take it. Because the family's there. Yeah, my wife, I, my in laws help out. I, I'm 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 Philly right now, and Lise and Ed, I, I, we would be lost without their help with our girls and everything. So, um, Cleveland Heights would be something though. Um, 
NFL, that's a big time commitment. College, no. Yeah. Not never. interested. It's too it's too much. You gotta recruit, you gotta coach, you, you'll never be with your family. I feel like the best two levels of coaching are high school where you get to develop kids and really form them and and help them grow into men and and offer that guidance. And then in the NFL, you get to compete at the highest level. Um, but it's still a time commitment in the NFL, but that's where like financially it kind of makes sense with the time commitment. So I think you need to DJ is why we brought you. I don't know that I can DJ. I can play saxophone. Shut up. Like I haven't done it in a while. Saxophone? Well, baritone saxophone, but I can play alto as well. My advice to you is. He lays down a few notes on stage. You know who does DJ, who wants to DJ is Trav. Yeah. I got him. Travis yeah. Kelsey? I got him. Come DJ on Trav? I got him. Oh. Seriously. If he opened up for Taylor Swift, you know, that's crazy. He does this every time he's in his phone. He finds the song, and then he finds uh, what the hook is based off of. That's like his favorite thing to do. Oh, like this that's is where the Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, he's all into it. <laughs> so my advice. That's all we do, by the way, at yeah. backstage at TNT. There you go. Everyone, we're watching the games, but it's Shaq being like, when's the last time you heard this? <laughs> <laughs> my advice to you is if you are going to retire, yes, accept it. Enjoy your family, brother. Thank you. I made a lot of dumb mistakes to where I lost my family and I didn't have anybody. That's not the case for you, so enjoy your beautiful wife, enjoy your beautiful kids, and never dwell on what we had. Yeah. What we had is what we got. You got the ring, people know who you are. Enjoy it, because again, I was I was an idiot, and I've talked about it for a long time, I lost my whole family. It's been a 100,000 square foot house by myself, and that's when I got. But again, the way I was raised, up, yeah. man up, yeah. deal with it, but you know, so, so. That's my advice to you. Thanks for coming, brother. You're the man, I'm a big fan of yours. Hey, thank you so much. Well, tell mom ah. and dad, and I'll hopefully I'll see you at the Super Bowl. And tell Miss Taylor Swift, I just want to shake her hand. I, I think she would be in I, I don't want no picture, none. I just want to say that I, I met a legend. All right, thank you, brother. Appreciate it.